So you've installed um, templated export and let's look at a couple of scenarios where you can use it. So um, the first one here I've got uh, an existing template that I use um, to monitor activity around um, blog post feeds and so this is pulling content from different sources Twitter, um, open comments and um, delicious and say for example I want to um, publish an RSS feed of this data so I've combined the data into a Google spreadsheet and I want to get it out again uh, in a different format so what we can do is we've got the spreadsheet key uh, we've got a sheet we've got a range of data uh, if I just go in here I've already started filling in this template so I've put the key in I've put the, the source range I'm saying I'm not ticking that the data is on uh, the, the zero header um, and we can see the available cell so this is the markup to use to insert um, data uh, into the the export so with templated export we've got it's very similar to Google Refine we've got a prefix area so this is the bit that's going to appear at the top of your of your data each time so I've pulled in some um, because I'm going to use an RSS, I've got some RSS markup here so I've got channel, title, description and a link and then we've got a template for each row so for each row we want an item and a title so in the title you, you'll see I'm, I'm pulling in the, the cell values so for each row there's going to be a cells type um, so for each row it's going to pull in cells type so row on Twitter, Twitter, comment and so on um, with the, the markup you can actually um, use more um, app script and JavaScript to control the output so I'm doing a conditional statement here I'm saying if the cell type has uh, got the value Twitter or delicious then we're going to include the screen name um, and then it's got the brackets for the next part of the code which is it's going to pull in the notes column so it's going to pull anything in from the notes and then we've got a link so which is a link to the, where, where this comment or um, share or tweet is coming from and then publish date and in this example we're using um, Google Apps Script built-in features so we're using the utilities format date to get the, the published date into um, an RSS um, compatible format. So we've got a preview here which shows you um, the first three rows of the data. So I'm actually calling in 10 but I'm getting um, three rows just so I get an idea of what it looks like and um, as I type it's updating the window so um, we can see what we're doing and we can see if there are any errors. We've got a row separator of just uh, a return just to make it tidy and then we've got um, uh, the end so we've got some closing tags. Um, once we've got all that we can save and then we can um, publish a URL. So what this is going to do is give us um, a dedicated URL for, for this template um, we've set it to publish so anyone can get a hold of this now so if I just open this in a separate window it's because it's recognizing it as RSS it's asking if I want to put it into Google Reader and so you see it's pulled in our custom RSS and as the data in the source spreadsheet gets updated um, when the aggregator goes and searches for that RSS feed it goes and gets it. And we also have an option to export um, so that will allow you it should force um, a download so you see it's forced to download there and uh, we've, we've got the file offline as well and at any point we can decide to make this private again um, so it's up to us to control if it's public or private. So that's one example of using RSS.